bulk of the snow that we got fell overnight, but enough kept coming throughout the day to keep plows busy. The storm also caused delays at Pittsburgh International Airport. David Highfield is at PennDOT's facility on the north side with the latest on the conditions out there. David. Yeah, Ken, and first let's talk about the roads. Highway restrictions in our area have all been lifted at this point, and for road crews, their concern is now turning to keeping wet and slushy roads from turning icy. Now, as far as the air travel, the problems are not at Pittsburgh International. However, if you plan on flying out of there, you could still be affected by them. Canceled, canceled, canceled. Both the departure and arrival boards at Pittsburgh International had quite a few cancellations, but the problem wasn't here. Instead, at East Coast airports, New York, Washington, and Boston. Trip the back has been the most miserable thing. This group of nurses from Alabama never intended to visit Pittsburgh, but Mother Nature had a different idea. We were trying to go from Iceland to Newark and then from Newark to Atlanta <laughs> tomorrow morning. But no, this snowstorm ruined all of our plans. After a week in Iceland, their plan to fly into Newark was thwarted. You flew from Iceland to Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh, yes, because there was less snow here. <laughs> Still snow, but less. And if you're planning on traveling east in the morning. If you're flying to any of those affected airports, New York, Washington, Boston, Newark, any of those places, definitely check with your airline before coming to the airport tomorrow morning because there may be some residual delays. As for the roads, we know the heaviest snow came at exactly the wrong time this morning during rush hour. If you hit the slush, you were getting thrown. But if you stayed in the tire tracks, you were all right. It was a hard commute getting in this morning. A lot of roads not clear. A repeat is not expected tomorrow, but road crews will be out hoping to prevent slushy or wet roads from freezing. And here's something to brighten your spirits. If you look closely between all the flakes, you may even see a sign of spring. And I suspect that Robin at this point probably wants to catch a flight back down south. Now you can check your flight at flypittsburgh.com and as for the roads, the director of public works for the city of Pittsburgh tells me they will have crews out all night long. He said the goal really late today was to clear as many roads as possible before the temperatures dropped. We're live tonight on the north side, David Highfield, KDKA TV News.